The Betrayal by L.P. Hartley, first published in 1966, is a tale of deceit, love, and moral conflict set in a small English town. The novel centers on two main characters, Edith Hope, a widow in her late 40s, and David Penistone, a young university lecturer. Their lives intertwine when David rents a room at Edith's house. The story begins with Edith, who is struggling to make ends meet after the death of her husband. She lives in a large, deteriorating house and takes in lodgers to supplement her income. Her reserved and conservative demeanor keeps her at arm's length from others in the town. David Penistone is wrestling with dissatisfaction in his life and career. Although he is successful and well-liked at the university, he feels stifled by the academic routine and aspires for something more fulfilling. After a recommendation, he decides to take lodgings with Edith to gain a degree of independence from his overbearing parents. Upon moving in, David quickly infuses new life into Edith's mundane existence. Despite their age difference and initial reservations, they form an unexpected friendship. Edith is drawn to David's youth and vigor, while he finds comfort in her maternal presence and stability. Their relationship develops subtly, navigating the constraints of propriety and the expectations of the community. However, their idyllic cohabitation is disrupted by the arrival of several new characters. Chief among them is Penelope, David's young and vibrant fiancé, who has been studying abroad in France. Unbeknownst to Edith, David is engaged to be married, and Penelope's return sparks a crisis. Her presence rekindles his sense of obligation and jolts him back into the mainstream life he had been questioning. Penelope's arrival at the house reveals the significant gap between the young couple's expectations and their reality. While David is discontented with the predictability of his trajectory, Penelope is bubbling with enthusiasm for their future together. Simultaneously, she unwittingly exacerbates Edith's hidden emotional turmoil and sense of inadequacy. Penelope's awareness of Edith and David's closeness leads to tension and jealousy, although her youthful naivete prevents her from seeing the full depth of their relationship. As the wedding draws near, David grapples with his emotions and commitments. He recognizes a profound bond with Edith, who offers him support and understanding in stark contrast to the whirlwind relationship with Penelope. The love triangle reaches its climax when Edith, realizing the depth of her feelings for David, confesses her love to him. This admission shocks David, who had not fully grasped the nature of Edith's affection. Caught in a moral quandary, David is faced with an impossible choice. His sense of duty and the expectations of society push him towards Penelope and the life he had planned, while his heart tells him he has found something sincere and meaningful with Edith. Ultimately, David chooses to honor his engagement, breaking Edith's heart. The novel delves deeply into Edith's betrayal, a betrayal both from David and of her own principles. She had allowed herself to love someone who was not hers to love, and her moral compass condemns her for it. The aftermath of her confession is marked by a poignant return to loneliness and an awareness of the fleeting nature of happiness. Edith's acceptance of David's decision and her stoic resolution to move on reflect Hartley's exploration of human fallibility and the complexity of emotions. The story concludes with Edith coping with her loss, reflecting on the transitory nature of human connections, and mustering the strength to face her life ahead without David. The betrayal examines the interplay between social expectations, personal integrity, and the pursuit of happiness. Hartley's narrative grapples with the differences between generations, the consequences of forbidden love, and the sacrifices individuals make in the name of duty and societal norms. It's a story that unravels the human condition, exposing the dichotomy of the public and private self, and asks the reader to consider the true meaning of loyalty, both to others and to one's own heart.